And it's interesting, isn't it, the Mary and Joseph story? People who were in real need, uh, but there wasn't accommodation for them. Fascinating that, that, that probably one of the poorest of the poor came to their aid and, and, and let them find somewhere. So there is a real message there in terms of actually that, again, we have a duty to respond to the poorest in our society. I always think as well that actually, you know, when you see somebody sleeping out on the streets, uh, it's, it's the most visible symptom, if you like, that something's gone terribly wrong in that person's life. Obviously it takes greater poignancy at Christmas, but it's also a real visible symptom that there's something terribly wrong in our society. You know, it, it's really important that we find that we're playing a role to actually ensure that for people that are in crisis, there, there is room at the end, there is hope, there is a way off, off the streets. And you know, there's, people often think about, well, well, what can I do? You know, do I give money? We'd always say that it's best not to give money. Um, but there's so many ways that people can help support charities. And there's, uh, people always think about being a philanthropist, that you have, to be a, you have to be very rich to be a philanthropist, but you can be a philanthropist with your time whether it's Advent, in the Advent season, thinking, well, what am I going to do in preparation for the great feast that is Christmas? Um, I might not have much money, but can I give an hour of my time just to get involved with a local charity? Um, you know, you really can make a difference if you try. <laughs>